In this video tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to create a Google Map. Um, and you can create a custom Google Map for your website. For realtors, this is a great tool to add something to your website that gives visitors a resource for your local area. And being local is one of the most important things that is going to help your visitors want to stay on your site and return to your site and bookmark it and share it. And that's really great for SEO. So creating a custom Google Map is something that could be a big benefit to your website and help you retain a lot of visitors and get better SEO. So to start with, I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in Google My Maps. And here you go, it's right there. So we're going to click right on it. You can see I have a couple of maps already. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create a New Map to start. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give my map a title and I'm going to do My Local Area just to kind of show you what uh, I can do, what this can do for you. Now I happen to live in Brooklyn, Michigan, which on, in Michigan is actually sort of a destination spot. It's called the Irish Hills and there's a lot of neat things here including the NASCAR track. Michigan's uh, International Speedway is here. So there are some cool things here and this is a cool place to visit and there are a lot of uh, neat little hot spots here. So I'm going to start off by just uh, typing in Brooklyn, Michigan and it's going to bring me right to my spot and I'm going to go ahead and click on this and it adds my little marker here. So we have one marker. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to add a location. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Michigan International Speedway. And there you see it pops up and I can do either one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. And you see how it pops up and then I'm going to click on add to map. And there you go. It adds it right into the map. So if I want to add another location Let's say I want to add Shady's Tap Room. Cool little craft beer place right here in Brooklyn. And I'll go ahead and click on it and add to map. So you can see that you can continue doing this and adding the map markers and adding different places on your map. You can see how detailed it gets too as you are zooming out. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see multiple locations in there. Um, if you want to go ahead and change the color of the map marker, you can actually click on that little paint bucket right there. And then let's say you want to change it to purple. So that one changes, so you have different colors. If you want to, for instance, for this one, let's say I want to give it a little um, martini glass there. I'm going to change it to a martini glass. And so you can change the icon to more icons and change the color. So you want to just continue adding more markers to your map until you have it all situated. And once you are happy with all of the things that you have it, then you can kind of tweak it. Um, one of the other things that I forgot to mention is you can actually create layers. So let's say you want to create different things like restaurants or um, places to visit. So for instance, I could call this places to visit this layer right here. And then maybe I'll add a layer called, and I'll change it called food and drink. And I think I can drag layers down or nope, actually, how about if I just delete that one and then I go ahead and choose a place and I add to map and then it's under food and drink. So if I want to go to this layer and add more, I can. If I want to go to this layer, I can. And I can add multiple layers. It actually kind of helps your clients to, um, you know, categorize different things. If they want to just see all the places to eat, they can. So it's kind of neat. There's other things that you can do as well. Um, you Down here, the base map, you can change it so that it's a satellite view if you want. You can change the different colors, different styles. So choose the style that best um, fits what you want to do and add it to the site. Um, up here, you can also add markers manually. You can click right here. And let's see here. Let's zoom out. Oops little bit and let's add a marker for 
town center gazebo. So this is where the town center is and I can add that in there. So anything that you want to do customized you can do that way. If you want to add directions you can if you want to measure distance and areas like you can measure distance and areas from here to here if you want and I can delete it as well or I can delete my point. I can go from here to here to here so I can like measure a distance like that um, and then I can also delete it if I don't want it so or I can undo so it'll undo. as many times as I want. Okay, so I can also select items. There you go. And I can make my map pretty much as custom as I want. Now, once I'm done with the map, I may want to um, embed it into my website. How do I do that? So this is how I do it. You're gonna go ahead and click on preview. And now you can see your map. You get a preview of it. It'll show all the points in the map. This is the time when if you want to adjust anything, you have to go back and adjust it. So now I'm going to come here and I'm going to click on share and then I'm going to click embed on my site. Now it's going to give me an embed code and I'm simply going to copy that code. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to my blog. And I use Avada for my site. So I'm going to, I've already set up this post, gave it a name and I'm gonna I put a container in here with the title and a text box so I can add a little intro and I'm gonna go ahead and put my actually I'm gonna put a code block if you're just using the regular editor you would just um, go to actually I'll show you how to do that too if you're just using the regular editor you just grab that embed code and you click on the text version right here of your WordPress and then you just paste it in there and it'll show up. See how it shows up real nicely? But in my case, I'm gonna put it in a code block. So I'm actually gonna put the video on how to do this above it and then I'm going to go ahead and put my embed code right there and save it. And then when I save the page, And then I'm going to actually save a draft. And now I'm going to go ahead and preview the post. And there you go, it, there's my map. Um, normally, if I was creating this map, I would put it on a page, not a post, if I was creating it for my website. So this is where um, you know you can create a new page and embed it in that page. And you can customize the height and width and everything by just changing that little embed code on the post. Well, right here. So if you want it to be a certain size, you can adjust the height and width right there. And that's it. There you have it. That's how you create a Google Map, a custom Google Map in Google My Maps. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let us know. You can reach us at support at yoursiteneedsme.com or 517-917-0582. Have a great day. Yeah.